Okay, hey Tim, uh, this is Rob. I'm just going to go over the process of creating additional pages and links using Contribute. And you can pass this on to any uh, of your team members. What you're seeing is kind of a browser-like experience. So you can click on different links. And you can see it's uh, it reacts a lot like a, a website. So when you come to a page that you want to edit, you click Edit Page. But uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to edit this page because we're going to create a link to Eric's page that we're just about to create. And so here's how it works: uh, click on the Edit Page. And what this is going to do, this is going to take that information from that web, that web page and create a new duplicate document. And that's that duplicate document that you're going to be editing. <clears throat> and when you're done editing, you're simply going to click on this button, Publish. And that will put this new document back onto the web website. A lot of the things have changed. You'll notice that, um, you know, this is kind of funny. It's spaces it doesn't look right, in other words. But don't worry about that. Uh, let's start by correcting and creating a link. So we're going to highlight all of the text that is going to be used to link. Then right up here, you can see Insert Link. So we're going to click on that. Uh, we're going to create a new page. So, and from this, it's going to point us to the template folder. Now, there's two templates, one for the opening page and one for standard pages. We're going to use the one for standard page. We're going to call this page Eric Mc query okay so uh, by titling it uh, hit using his name uh, that will uh, give us a lot better positioning when it comes to search engine if somebody's doing a search specifically for his name and click OK so now we've got a brand new page I'm just gonna copy and paste text from his resume. And make sure you just stop copying at the bottom of each page. And the reason why is that you've got his name at the top of each page with a page number. You don't want to copy that. You just want to copy the content. So okay, so now we've essentially copied his entire PDF. Now once you've got some basic separation uh, whoops you will really begin to notice uh, some issues <laughs> first of all uh, all those bullet points in the document are no longer bullet points they're kind of funny looking alien creatures here and you need to delete all of those I'm going to create one carriage return so that you can see something that's happening here. If I add bullet points to this section right here where I want bullet points, you will notice, well, one bullet point got created and font and the color kind of changed. So these are things that you're going to need to correct. Now, Unfortunately, you have to go through this one line at a time, deleting all of these bullet points, and then returning it up to the next line so that you can, instead of a line break, which is what that document was recognized for, it was recognized when you copied and pasted. Uh, what you can't see here is the HTML underneath this document. And what's underneath the sheets is HTML code and that code is calling for a line break instead of a carriage return. So uh, by 
um, bringing that line up to the next line and then hitting return you can see there we go there's the bullet point so you need to essentially delete all the all the bullet points and spaces returning up to the line up and top and then going back down and now you will have all of your bullet points once you've got all of the bullet points that are needed um, you then need to select all of that and I want to make that a little lighter but I don't want to make it quite as light as the header just so that it stands out a little bit more uh, so that the header stands out a little bit more so um, I'm going to create a new style now there's some styles here from what I was working on so let me just quickly delete those styles um, those styles were something I created here in contribute just before I started recording we're going to create a new style and simply by changing color of any of any specific rule these are the rules um, it will create a new style so <clears throat> we want to create just a slightly lighter color so you can see it's just slightly lighter than the top uh, header um, but it's not quite uh, as dark as it used to be now another thing is that we don't want Verdana we want Arial and Arial 15 which will give it just a little bit slightly bit bigger and so let's see what that looks like there we go okay so so that is now style 18 now I want to replicate that style with all of my others so that the title stands out just a little bit more so style 18 and what I'm also going to want to do is I'm going to want to indent this just a little bit so that it's a little bit so I'm going to use this white text indent and I'm also going to want to make this header this as a header so I'm going to choose header 2 I'm going to just lighten up that header just a little bit. Okay, there we go. So now it's starting to take form. So after you're done editing all of that, well, you're going to go team members. Here's where you're going to create a sub uh, a sub menu for your team so that people can instantly access some of the other uh, team members from any one of the other pages. So let's start with Timothy Smith. I'm going to click on shift and return which is in Kevin Kevin Turner shift return followed by Eric and now now that I've got a, a list <coughs> so with Timothy Smith I'm going to create a link so I'm going to browse to the web page of the link I'm going to create so I'm going to choose I'm going to search the site for the file I want to link to. So this is the site um, and Timothy Smith. There we go. Okay. Now we've created that link. I now have two links but they're in blue which is really tough to see. So I'm going to go back and apply that Eighteen. I, now that we're done, we're going to publish this. So we just hit the publish button in the top, and you can see now it's being published to the server. And congratulations, it's done.